They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can The large lecture hall was with its tatter of excited students all eager for the first class as it will be attended by June Jankook Tall windows were letting in the pale morning light casting long shadows across the room You were sitting in the last bench your heart pounding too hard against your chest with the thought of attending the first class of your husband who is your professor as well you adjusted yourself on the seat your fingers anxiously drumming on the notebook in front of you it was your first time when you will be attending his class as his wife but sadly no one knew about this car jankuk told you to stop until an appropriate time comes You glance at the group of girls in the first row they rise sparkling in anticipation and they were whispering about Jankook You didn't want to hear their conversation your eyes got watery when you recalled your night which happened a week ago Jankook's cold and painful words were still striking back in your mind and you were feeling those words were ringing in your head with the help of hammer he said that he had no interest This made you really disheartened but it didn't it didn't just end here he told you that he will act like your husband in front of his mom and dad no one in the college will know that you are his wife he also told you do not expect anything but you never expected that he will put on this kind of conditions Above all, he said that if you ever feel a point with him, you can just simply ask him. When he said that, deep inside you were hurt, but you pretended to be agreed as you didn't want to show yourself better. You married him because your parents wanted to; otherwise, you would prefer to sin. Will he accept me as his wife one day? You were thinking to yourself while your eyes fixed on the classroom door. You were snapped back to the reality as you heard girls calling him dreamy man and so on which made you feel jealous. Jungkook was really known for his sharp intellect and stern demeanor but what drew the girls in his was undeniable handsomeness. His hard athletic build, sharp jawline and lip piercing and his pretty doe eyes They were most handsome among female students despite his reputation for being cold and unapproachable. Suddenly the classroom door swung open and Jungkook entered in with the air of authority. His steps echoing in the room, setting the notebook on the table, he addressed the class. "Good morning students," he said in his cold voice. His cold voice made you groan. Why he tends to be so cold? So students to this course will not be easy and I expect nothing less than your full commitment if any one of you is here for easy ride you might as well leave you instead of wasting your time he said looking around Jungkook started the lecture between the lecture he asked a question his eyes scanning the room several hands raised up but his gaze lingered on you as you had was resting on the desk Lee Wayan stand up he said staring at you you pretended to not be affected by this as you looked down at your shoes everyone looked at you shocked that you were not standing up your eyes were still fixed on your shoes jankook took a deep sigh Lee Wayan would you please explain what i was teaching just now he said in a voice rolling your eyes you got up You explained about love, nature, and earth. You said, looking at him, Jungkook, you must sit. He said, trying to not bother by your cold attitude. You sat down with cold expressions on your face. What does she think of herself? Is she Miss Universe or what? Why this is behaving so rude to Mr. Jungkook? She whispered in her friend's ear. Come on, you know about this. They just do these things to get attention. She said and they both laughed their voices were audible enough to be heard by you as your eyes became watery
Soon the lecture ended and you began packing up your belongings. Jungkook was looking at you while acting to read a book. Suddenly a care went to him. Professor Jungkook, I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions about today's lecture. She asked looking at him shyly. He nodded while his eyes still on you. You glanced over them and felt a knot in your stomach. You quickly gathered up your things, intending to leave before you had to witness more of this interaction. Jungkook looked at you frowned. Wasn't she supposed to go with me? Where is she going then? He thought to himself, looking at you from behind. Professor Jungkook, she was cut off by him. The college time is over. You can ask your question during office hours. I have another class to prepare for. He said, running outside the classroom. The girl looked at him disappointed at seeing him disappear. She groaned. While on the other hand, Jungkook followed you to the college main entrance, but before he could catch you, you had already hopped into the bus and left for the home. I came back home and quickly went to the upstairs to home to check if she reached home or not. And I am behaving so cold to her, and I told her to not expect anything, but I can't neglect her presence even. She is my responsibility now. Didn't I tell her I'm ready to wait for me once everyone leave the college and then we will drive back home? I entered the room but there is no trace of her in the room. Maybe she is in bathroom. I called her but she didn't respond either. There was also no sound of shoving. Then where did she go? Is she okay? Is she came back home. I twisted the knob. I think she is not there without caring about the consequences. I swung open the door and what I saw made my choke. My eyes opened wide. I didn't know why I was behaving so odd but suddenly she sat taking me out from zone as I left the bathroom. And above all, when I called her name, she didn't speak. She is a childish girl. It was around 2 o'clock. So I went to another room to take a shower. After a few minutes, I came back and then I walked downstairs to make lunch for both of us. Is he gone mad? You were thinking to yourself while doing a little bit of makeup. You then walked to the downstairs, your nostril expanded 3.9 inches larger. A smooth watering aroma of ramyon and tatakaboki was coming from the kitchen. He is a great cook. You recall the breakfast he made in the morning. Jungkook looked at you. He cleared his throat dramatically and walked over to the dining table where he set the food. Wow, it looks delicious. I never thought an icy cold person can cook too. You said sitting on the chair. What did you just call me? You called me arrogant. He raised his eyebrows as he dragged the chair back for him. Um, the food is getting cold. You said and feast upon the food. Jungkook looked at you and smiled but soon his smile disappeared as he remembered about his cold personality all of a sudden. You cook really well. Thankfully, I would have tasty food every day. You said eating the tatakaboki. Hey, you won't be treated here like a princess. Four days me and three days you are gonna cook. He said looking at your face. Don't worry, I will really best cook. You said forcing a smile but as the matter of fact, you didn't even know how to cook. By the way, why did you run away from the class? Did something or did someone do? He asked, wiping off the sauce around his lips. No, nothing. I am full. I gotta go to my room. You said and got up from the bed. Hey, wait. What are you going? Who will wash the dishes? I'm not gonna wash them. He said, chewing the food. You turned around and looked at him in a disbelief. This man. He has no emotions. I thought he asked me to stop that he was concerned about me but no. He wants me to wash the dishes. You thought to yourself looking at him. 
With first stamping, you walk to the dining table and grabbing the plates and glass, you rush to the kitchen. After making weird face, what happened to her now? Did I say something wrong? He said to himself looking at you. I was giving him glares time to time while washing the dishes. What does he think of himself just ordering? After doing the dishes, I walked to the living room where he was using his mobile phone while crossing his leg over others. I grabbed the remote, giving him a quick glare and then sat on the sofa as I played the great drama. It was really funny and cute drama. I was giggling to myself while blushing. The main leads were sitting on the boat and girl was clicking photos with him. Ah, so cute. I said putting my hands on my cheeks. Why he's so handsome and cute at the same time, I wanted to see him for once in my life. I said bit loudly due to over excitement while I was saying so, I felt my Jungkook's piercing gaze. I looked at him confused as he gave me weird look. I gave him a cheeky smile before treating my head to the TV screen. She knows that she's married. Or she can call someone else. Why never she praised her own husband, he said. I let a small chuckle without looking at him. So this icy man is too interesting, I said to myself as smirking from inside. The rest of the day spent like that as I watched the K-drama while Jungkook using his mobile phone. Time skipped to the morning. I woke up with birds chirping outside the room window. I looked around and saw Jungkook sleeping on the couch. Peacefully, I grabbed my phone and turned off the alarm. Getting up from the bed, I went to the bathroom for doing morning routine. Today I have to make breakfast, so I get up earlier. I climbed downstairs to the kitchen and thought something deeply, what to make today. But I don't know how to cook. I should have told him earlier instead of saying that I am best cook and blah blah. Well, I never tried making something, so maybe it turns well. Yeah, why and you can do this. But uh, what if I make not good food? I walked to the fridge and where I saw yogurt, honey, eggs and lemons. I guess I should make some remedy. He <laughs> he. Well, I grabbed the eggs to boil and I turned on the toaster to dust the slices of bread. I also fetched two crumbs of banana milk and pouring them into a glass. I decorated them with banana peels. It looks good. So let's make some buttery bread. I added the butter on two slices of bread. And in the meantime, eggs were also done. So I peeled them off and putting them toast, burnt bread, stone eggs, buttery bread looking good and banana milk glasses in that way I walked to the dining table where I set the breakfast and waited until Jungkook came downstairs. I looked at him. He sat on the chair and looked at the food. I don't know why his eyes widened as if he saw a ghost. Where you can't make the food, why you didn't tell me earlier, he asked looking at my face. Did he like it that much even he is not believing that I, I made all the food with my own dear hands? See it's not but you can't have it. Let me order something. He said holding my hand as I was trying to take a bite of an egg. I felt really bad. It was my first time that I made it turn. After few minutes of waiting, the food was placed on the table by my husband. As he received the parcel after having the breakfast, I grabbed the dishes and started to wash them in the kitchen when Jungkook came and snatched away the plate from my hands. You are already late. Go get ready. I will wash them. He said and I nodded. Well, in between all this, I came to know that he is not that cold. Arthur's spoke, you entered the class and saw some girls whispering to each other while staring at you which made you feel nervous, shrugging it off. You plopped down on your seat and placed your bag on the desk. Soon a group of girls came to you who were looking at you which made you frown. Lee Wan, she asked, glaring at you from head to toe. You looked at her confused. Did they saw me getting up from Jungkook's car? But how it could happen?
Didn't I get up in front of the coffee shop which is far away from the college? You thought in your mind. She said and was about to when suddenly someone held her left hand. You looked behind her and your eyes got watery, seeing Jungkook. Professor Jun. Everyone in the classroom looked at him shocked including you. Yes, she is my wife. If someone has any problem, it's not my fault. Your heart beat just faster cuz it was first time he called you his wife as also he announced about some with him which made you feel at ease. Time skip you were sleeping on the bed when Jungkook entered the bedroom he walked over to you and stared at you with his sparkling eyes. I am feeling so good after telling everyone that he is my wife. She looked so innocent while sleeping like a cute bunny. He thought in his mind and smiled. I'm blessed that she is my wife, he said to himself while looking at your cute innocent face. I am also lucky to have you as my husband. He said opening your eyes as you were just closing your eyes to relax your mind but Jungkook thought you were sleeping as soon as you opened your eyes and your feet were hit his earlobe he lost his balance and fell down on the floor which made you anxious are you okay you asked getting up the dinner is nervously getting up from the floor as he brushed off his shirt congratulations Jin Jungkook once again in front of her he thought in his mind He was walking outside the room when you called him from behind. Jungkook, wait. You said and went to him. Jungkook scrunched his eyebrows as he looked at you. Jungkook's eyes widened when you put your phone. He turned into a fresh new tomato and you being shy ran to the bathroom leaving him all shy behind. Did he judge me? He has said to himself. Time skipped to the morning. You were in the hallway, walking briskly to your locker, forgetting your books. When all of a sudden you bumped into someone, "Hey, Kasi, are you blind?" He said loudly. "I'm sorry, but I was not. You were speaking up, but he cut you off. Oh, I. It's not your fault," he said. You turned around and saw Jack, your classmate, standing with hands crossing over his chest. Don't you say a word after this, cause you will be kicked from me. He glared at him with a loud voice. Hey bro, why are you taking her side? He scoffed, looking at him. Jack then walked to you with a smile. Are you okay? He asked and you awkwardly smiled at him before nodding in yes. By the way, thanks, you said. No problem. But the best way to thank me is having a cup of coffee with me. He said smile. You thought for a while and then gra- agreed as you both walked to the canteen. You both were engrossed in your task that you didn't realize you forgot to attend Jungkook's first class. Soon the waiter came and she placed two cup of Americano on the table. You were sipping on a coffee when suddenly you remembered that you forgot to attend first class which was surely held by Jin Jungkook. Time skip. As Jungkook looked at you, you sat looking at him. Who was that guy you were enjoying coffee with? How you could forget to attend my class, he said. 
Before that guy he helped me a lot. You said looking at him. What was his name, Levian? He said his eyes full of anger and his jawline was tightened. I don't know and I didn't know. You said looking at him with your innocent eyes. After three hours, you looked at Jungkook while he smiled. 